Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to record your Nintendo Switch screen and then edit the recorded footage on your PC. So there's just a few things to note for this video. Um, you probably will need an SD card because you will need to save the videos to an SD card and then transfer it to your PC. Also keep in mind that the video clips can only be 30 seconds long. It's really annoying, but there's nothing you can do about it because that's what Nintendo decided to do. So. Um, also this only works in game um, if I just show you guys on the home screen right now if I just back out so basically to take the video what you want to do is you want to hold down this button uh, just for about three seconds as you can see it says unable to take video capture now that is because you can't record the home screen but if I go into a game and let's just start a game so I've got something to record right guys so in a game of Fortnite right now and to record the screen, what you have to do is hold this button for about 3 seconds. So let's just do that now. As you can see it said saving. So what that did is it saved the last 30 seconds of gameplay. So this is pretty cool for um, clips and stuff like that. Let's say you kill someone and you get a really cool kill. Um, all you have to do is just, you know, seconds after is hold this button uh, for 3 seconds and then it will record all of the footage from where you got the kill. So I've got quite a few, um, you know, cool kills saved um, to my SD card so I can watch them. So yeah, uh, this button is basically just for screenshots and taking videos. So press it once and that's a screenshot and then hold it 3 seconds and it record and it saves the video of the past 30 seconds of gameplay so it's kind of cool I kind of like um, you know video software that work like that because if you did get some good footage um, you know it will be saved but anyway I'll show you guys what to do once you've got the footage so if I just back out to the home screen quick um, let me just close the software what you want to do is you want to go into your album from here you can see every single video clip that you've recorded so as you can see that was the screenshot I took, um, that was the 30 seconds of gameplay I recorded, um, you know, in the loading screen and stuff like that. And there was the 30 seconds of gameplay as I was flying down. So it's kind of cool, I've got loads of cool clips and stuff like that. Um, it's really good if you have like a 1v1 with someone and you know it was a pretty good 1v1 and you want to save the clip, I'd say that's probably what it's used for the most. Kind of annoying, it's only 30 seconds. If it was 10 minutes or something like that, that would actually be a lot better. Maybe they will add something like that in the future, I don't know. But anyway, so what you guys want to do now is take out your SD card, um, plug it into your PC, and from there you can access the videos and then do what you want with them. So you will need to take off the stand. Um, I actually really hate doing this, it feels so horrible. But there you go, now you can take out the SD card. Um, if you can actually get it out because it's really hard to take out There you go, and now you can just connect this to your PC Right guys, so once you're on your PC and your Nintendo Switch's SD card is connected um, You can find it right here. All you want to do is go onto it Then you want to go inside the Nintendo folder go inside the album folder um, Go inside the date and from here you can just go into this folder and you will have the date which you recorded your video on um, choose whichever one you want. As you can see these are all of the Fortnite clips that I recorded um, and then you can just um, watch any video and then you can also um, edit the video in your video editing software or you can just upload it to YouTube because it is actually in an mp4 file so the quality isn't too bad I mean it's a bit pixely but you know you can cope with it and the sound is all pretty good as well as you can hear the sounds alright so yeah, um, that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you record your Nintendo Switch screen and then put it on your PC. Um, the only thing is these clips are only 30 seconds. Um, it's kind of annoying, but um, there you go. I guess you can't really do much about it. But that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.